Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue PK Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to learn how to apply conditional formatting to an entire row. So here's my scenario. I've got a database of accounts. I've got the budget actual variance figures. And what I want to be able to do is just select a department and it will highlight the entire row for each account where the variance is less than 9,999. Now, to achieve this, we're going to have to base our conditional formatting on a formula. And when you write a formula for conditional formatting, it's got to be a logical test. So it's got to resolve to true and false. We don't need that formula in the spreadsheet itself, but it's sometimes useful to write the formula in the spreadsheet so you can see that it's giving you expected results. So let's start here in column H and let's write our little formula. So basically what we're saying is here that two conditions need to be true. The, var the, th the variance needs to be less than 9,999 and the department must be whatever I choose in this drop down list at the moment it's training. So if both things need to be true, I can use the AND function. So the AND function gives me a series of arguments that allow me to express logical tests. So the first logical test would be, is the department equal to training or whatever I've written in K5. Now I've locked K5 with F4 because we're going to be copying this formula down and it needs to always point at that department that I've selected in this cell here. Comma. So that's my first test. And then the second test is, is this less than the variance threshold, which again I'm going to lock with my F4 key, close the bracket, press enter, and you can see that this is false. So it's not the training department. Um, but if I copy this down, I get lots and lots of forces, but eventually I get a true down here. So there we are, I have a training department where the variance is less than 9,999. So this is the formula that I'm going to use for my conditional formula. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula onto the clipboard, control C, and then I'm going to select all of the cells that the conditional formatting needs to apply to. I'm going to use a quick shortcut key to get down to the last row. Control shift down arrow key. Control backspace will take me back to the top of the list. Now it's important that we understand that although I've selected all the cells, there's only one cell that is active. So the formula that I initially write for the conditional formatting relates directly to this cell. So let's see how this works. I'm on the home tab on my ribbon, go to conditional formatting, new rule, and I'm going to click on this option here, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now I'm going to paste that formula, control V, into the little box here that says format values where this formula is true. Before we finish with this formula, we just need to think about these two references here, B4 and G4. Now remember that this formula relates or applies to the active cell, the first one that was selected, so A4. So we're saying color this cell if B4 equals department uh, training and the variance is less than minus 9,999. But this formula will get copied across and down all the other cells. So as the, as the formula is copied across, we'd still want to refer to B4 for our first criteria, uh, sorry, column B for our first criteria and column G for our second criteria. But obviously as we copy the formula down, we don't want to keep referring to row four. We want to re refer to row five and six, etc. So these, have, these two references here need to be mixed cell references. Now what that means is we only have one dollar in the cell reference. So I can achieve this by using the F4 key. If I press it once, I get an absolute reference of $2. Press it again, I get a mixed cell reference fixed on row. You can see the dollars before the four, which fixes the row press the uh, F4 again, and the dollar appears before the B. So the B is now fixed. Basically, you're saying that the criteria always applies to column B, and we need to do the same here for G. We've just got a dollar before the G in the G4 reference. 
Then the last thing I need to do is just choose a format. So I might choose a green background color there. Click on OK. And then what I can do is just choose a particular department and it then formats the appropriate row within my spreadsheet. Go back to training. You can see it does it there. Now, once we've done that, we don't actually need the formula column anymore. So I could just delete that. That was just to test to see that the formula was working as we expected. And we're actually done. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training.